This crowd is ready as we get set for the World Series. Game one is next. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the Texas Rangers going up against the Colorado Rockies. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Shomby. There may be no better atmosphere in all of baseball than game one of the fall classic, Singy. Lots of excitement to get this thing started. Yeah, and the players feel that just as much as the fans. You're down there with goosebumps, and these guys are just trying to stay in the moment. But I'll tell you, for the home team especially, it's so hard not to be emotional and hyped up with all the energy in this building right now. And on the other side, of course, you're looking to swing home field advantage your way with an all-important opening win on the road. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to roll and towing the slab here, Connor Siebel. Well, that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand. And because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of the strike zone for a strike, hitters commit to that pitch. And before they know it, they're swinging over the top of that curveball. Here is Marcus Simeon. Three and two now. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him looking, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Now it's Corey Seager. That misses the zone, and it's 2-1. One down, base is empty. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Riding to the plate. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Flip to the pitcher is in time. And they do get the second out of the inning. Evan Carter stepping in for the Rangers. Game one of the World Series here tonight, and all he's hoping is that the success that he's had in the first couple of rounds continues. The great thing, you're here in the World Series. Now just try to have fun. The performance has been outstanding, and why should it stop now? How do they cool him off? Well, they're going to be extremely careful with him. I doubt he's going to get much to hit today, but when he does, be careful because he can hit it a long way. The wide, the kick, and the one-two. That one oh, missing that inside. It's a good take. On the ground to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Rangers go down quickly there, and now the Rockies will go on offense for the first time. There's no score. You're watching the World Series on the show. Back here in Denver, and pitching in this game, Nathan Evaldi. What do you got on him, Chris? Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Bottom of the first, and now Charlie Blackman. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Hauls it in, and there's one away. 
Batting second. The second baseman. Now it's Brendan Rogers. Swings and misses. And the count one and two. Clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. And the next pitch is way outside. Just off the outside part of the plate. Right hander kicks deals. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Yeah, that's a tough pitch to stay on. You don't want to get beat inside. And as you see that pitch continue to run away from you, by the time it's in the catcher's mitt, you think it's a ball off the plate away. Now here's Nolan Jones. And one and two. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Rockies are down quietly. Scoreless after one. Back here at Coors Field. New inning getting started. And now here's the veteran DH, Mitch Garver. One and two now. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. That misses. Two and two. Young over at first with one away. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Now the catcher for the Rangers, Jonah Heim. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. Two outs. Fouls one away and now three and two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. And down on strikes. And the inning is over. Rangers leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the Rockies cleanup hitter, Chris Bryan. Oh, 
Hard hit left side. Sends it to first. Bryant out of the play. The third baseman. Ryan. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. The 3 1. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect to be in the All Star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3 2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. And now here is a Lowry's Montero. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Well, Boog, one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. Next pitch is outside. And a pitch. And yeah, that's a little bit high. Gary Simmons, our plate umpire today, sort of has a reputation as a pitcher's umpire. Yeah, a little bit of a wider zone than most, I'd say. And a wide zone can be tough to deal with as a hitter because you have to start expanding what you're looking for, covering both sides. And with the stuff guys have today, you're just not going to have a lot of success. And ball four to a board. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound. But, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this. But he's going to have to buckle down right here. Two on, one out. Ezekiel Tovar digging in for the Rockies. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. One out. Runners at first and second. And downstairs. Way to lay off that pitch down. Off the plate, three and two now. Austin wins, and the Colorado on deck circle. And a pitch. Swings and misses, struck him out. Gassed it right by him. Next to hit, Austin wins. And the right hander deals. That one not close. Two balls, two strikes. McMahon, the lead runner at second. Montero at first, two out of the inning. Good eye right there. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout, just didn't locate it very well. Brenton Doyle waiting for a turn at the plate. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Man, that's a tough one to take on the fourth count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. So digging in, Brenton Doyle. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss struck him out. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Out of the third inning, here's Leody Tavares. So far, the playoffs have not been kind to him, but tonight, a chance to start anew. 
so much of this game is mental. He's just got to tell himself, I'm here. I've worked hard all year. Go out, have fun, trust your ability. You know, Singy, there are some people that say they feel more pressure actually in the league championship series than the World Series because they know this is it. I could totally see that because, you know, you get to the World Series, that's what your whole goal was the entire season. Then you're there, there can be some luck involved. So you just got to shake it off, go out there, know that this is a rare opportunity, and just play your best. Out of line, out towards center. And he makes the catch. And there's one down. Great swing of the bat right there. Trying to get on as that go-ahead run. He just wasn't able to find a hole. And now, Travis Jankowski. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time. And he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. In for a strike, now it's three and two. Now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way to beat the shift. The three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four. And he's a guy that will certainly think about stealing a bag or two. Not the kind of speed you want to put on base in a tie game. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Struck out swinging his first time. Well, with pretty good speed over there at first base, I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down, hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. Now this is a rocket to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. And here's Corey Seager to hit. He's 0 for 1. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. And a base hit into right. And that's going to get into the corner. Jankowski headed for the plate. He will score, and it's 1-0. Always feels good when you come through and get your team on the board first. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. So up next, Evan Carter. That's in there. That is strike two. Runner at second, two down. And now it's filled up. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. Payoff pitch. In the air. Right center field. This is demolished. Way back and gone. That'll fire up the dugout, and they tack on to their lead. It's 3-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Another look at one of the most impressive home runs you'll ever see, as StatCast gives us the full picture. Yeah, projected more than 480 feet on its way over the fence. And I don't think we could watch this replay enough, Boog. I mean, just incredible. That was a swing that we're not going to soon forget. Mitch Garver up to hit here. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And strike two.
Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Garver off of first with two away. Pitch misses. Two balls and a strike. Stirring in the Colorado bullpen, Tyler Kinley, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Block, the lefty, warming up as well. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. Texas plates two on the homer. It's now 3-0. This is the World Series on the show. Back here at the ballpark as we go to the last of the third. Now here is Charlie Blackman. Two and one now. Fouls one off out of play back to our left. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Next offering is down low. One cool nugget on Evaldi. Comes from the same hometown as Nolan Ryan. Both guys from Alvin, Texas. They actually attended the same high school. They didn't meet until 2016. Evaldi pitching for the Yankees. Visited the Astros. And that's when he got a chance to meet the Ryan Express. So digging in, Brendan Rogers Caught looking his first time up. Next pitch in the dirt, and it's two and one. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. And a 3 1 on the way. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. I think he was sitting off speed there. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, he's been in a very giving mood today. Run around at first with one gone. Next to hit for the Rockies, Nolan Jones. The 1 2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Righty delivers. In the dirt. To second, but way too late, safe there. And that's a wild pitch as he moves into scoring position. Well, that's part of the risk when you throw a breaking ball in the dirt. Even as good as catchers are these days at blocking pitches, that one just got away enough, and that takes the double play opportunity away for now. Runner leads away at second. Well, that curveball right there stayed up in the zone. And if it's going to be effective, he's going to have to finish the pitch, tease the strike zone, and get it down. Otherwise, it's going to eventually get hit really hard somewhere. So now three and two. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Here comes a pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Kicks and deals. And that's ball four. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. 
Here's Chris Bryant now. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. The 1-1. One -one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And there's a foul ball. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. Next offering misses. And the count's full. Ryan McMahon up next for the Rockies. Runners at first and second with one gone. and misses it's a strikeout and here is Ryan McMahon and a pitch swing and a miss and that's strike two And that one ripped to left. Fair ball. Runner around third. One runs in around third. Row cut off out of the plate. And he's in there as two runs score on the play. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. So in now for Colorado, Elauri's Montero. And a swing and a miss. Next pitch is in the dirt, and it's two and two. Two outs, and one in scoring position. Next offering upstairs. Ezekiel Tovar in the Colorado on deck circle. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Well, good solid contact right there. Just a bit out in front of that fastball. Got to try to stay on that backside just a little bit longer and see if you can do some damage. Got him. They limit the damage here. A lot of adrenaline. We can see it right there, and sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Welcome back, and now on the mound to start the fourth, Ty Block. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Well, one run game. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. His first at bat was a strikeout. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, Try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Line drive, base hit right field. Jonah Heim stepping in for the Rangers. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Here's a 1 1. They say you win. Well, these Rangers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They've worked three walks already, so that proves they're not anxious up there. They're sticking to their game plan, and it's working. The 
pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. At the belt and fires. Caught him looking for the K. Well, I'm not really sure why he let that one go by. I mean, out of the hand, it had a lot of the strike zone. Sure, it had some good arm side run at the end to move to the outside part of the plate. But with two strikes, you got to be ready to swing it there, and you can't leave it in the umpire's hands. Leody Tavares stepping in for the Rangers. The pitch. That's ball three. Just missed. The 3 1. That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Low. Around third. Tovar with a relay throw. The tag out. But a run does come in to score. Well, the defense definitely on the clock with that one. Everything had to be perfect to get the runner at third. And you talk about a throw on the money, the relay to third. Just a good job all the way around. And now the right fielder, Travis Jankowski. The walk and a run scored his first time. Off the mark there. Now two balls and a strike. The wind of the pitch. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. And he deals. And a strike in there. And there's ball four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. And the pitch. That one ripped. Makes the catch, inning over. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We're midway in the fourth. It's the Rangers four and the Rockies two. Back here in Denver, bottom of the fourth. Here's the shortstop at the play, Ezekiel Tovar. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. And that will get out of play. Got him looking. Down on strikes. And he knew it. Frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter. And I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little okay. while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things. And I think that was the case right there. Austin wins digging in for the Rockies kicks and fires on the ground to the left gets it to first and that quickly two away the center fielder number nine Brenton Doyle digging in for the Rockies Went down on strikes his first time through. He's a guy, Chris, whose highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. That's in for a strike on the outside corner. One and two.
And down on strikes he goes. And the struggles continue in the postseason. One, two, three, go the Rockies. Still down by a count of four to two. Now a right-handed arm out of the bullpen, Tyler Kinley. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And welcome back. Top five, John Shelby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Corey Seager. one outside two balls and a strike yeah the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to swing and a miss as he was out front the pitch that just misses three and two down he should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. That's a laser base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. And at first, at the play, Evan Carter. He's already homered in this game. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Rudder at first with no outs here. Squirts away a little bit, and an excellent job keeping it right there. Gets a piece and stays alive. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job, just couldn't keep it fair. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. The 2 1. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Seeger, the base runner at first with one out. Pitch misses. Full count three and two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The kick, the 3-2. The punch out there. That's the second out. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. New pitcher in the game for the Rockies, Gavin Hollowell. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Here's Josh Young. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field.
the pitch. Slowly on the ground to short. They get the force, and that is that. One left for Texas, as they can't add to their 4-2 lead. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Jose Leclerc. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Now it's Charlie Blackman. Well, with both starters out of this ball game, it now becomes a battle of the bullpens and just seeing which manager can match up better and who's able to get to the finish line. And it is two and one. Well, with both starters out of the game, this quickly becomes a bullpen game, and this is something we see more and more in the game today, especially in the postseason. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. And now it's filled up. Right-handed reliever. Swings and misses. Pulled the string on the changeup. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3-2. He goes off speed. Gets the out. Next for Colorado, Brendan Rodgers. And a pitch. Just missed. Two balls, one strike. That's a strike. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. 2-2. Two -two. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. Two two now. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Two down. Now that left field. So it's their last chance in this one. Next to hit for the Rockies, Nolan Jones. And that's too high. Pressure mountain right here with the tying run in the on deck circle. He's got to find the strike zone. The 3 1. And now one strike away. Got him looking. And that'll do it.